One of the drivers for that was actually the COVID situation. And uh, people were transacting a lot more from the comfort of their homes. This is a space that criminals then exploited through phishing attacks, manipulating people. It's very lucrative, which means that more criminals are getting into this space as well. Money can today be transferred from one country in another just within a couple of minutes or even seconds. So we have to be faster. We have to develop new mechanisms of information exchange just to make sure that at least money is being tracked and, and seized so that then judicial procedures can enter into the final stage. It's a global community that's come together. They have experience in asset recovery, crime fighting generally, and we are getting this critical mass of uh, experts to take a deep and hard look at this problem and find solutions to allow us to be more effective. We need to connect the islands of information between law enforcement agencies. We need to build bridges to the private sector. And today, you can target any bank or any private citizen's account just by using the internet from, from wherever you are. So international cooperation, building strong partnerships is more important than ever to become more successful.